Hello and welcome back to JVCTR. For those of you that are new, my name is Johnny and today we are looking at the Shark IC160 UKT. This is a cordless upright vacuum cleaner with a powered lift away module. Okay, so I'll start this review with a bit of background. So this is the second Shark vacuum cleaner that I have reviewed. The first one being the AX910 UK. I'll stick a link up to my review up there. I really liked that Hoover. Um, in fact, I was very impressed with it all round. My biggest bugbear with it was the fact that it was corded and the Shark cord I found was particularly short. F off the back of that, Shark have then been in touch. Um, they've sent me this one here, which is a very similar model to be honest, uh, apart from the fact that it's cordless and that's quite a big jump. Now as mentioned this has been sent to me by Shark, um, it was free of charge so I haven't paid for it but there was no agreement between us for this to be a positive review. So anything you hear going forwards is going to be my honest thoughts and feelings and I'll try and be as impartial as I can. So to start we're better, let's get into the box. When you get in the box, you'll find the liftway module itself, the DuraClean cleaner head, which is narrower than its corded counterpart, a flexible hose, an aluminium wand, a docking basin charger, a bag for all your tools, a motorised pet tool, more on that later, a brush tool, a crevice tool, an upholstery tool, and lastly, the lithium battery. Now, one of the worst things about cordless products is when they arrive and it's all exciting, you can't play straight away, and the Shark is no different. Um, the battery requires a three and a half hour charge before you can use it, so it's currently on charge. I'll cover the charging process in a second, but just whilst it's on charge, we'll just have a look at the device itself. First impressions, as you can probably tell, I'm sort of throwing it around. It's really quite light. Um, granted, there's no battery in it at the moment, but it is significantly smaller than I was expecting. That said, I've had a quick play with it already. It's very well built and everything is really easy to access. I think Shark have done a good job on this as well. Um, so firstly, the bin, the most important thing, you've got two little catches here, pulls away nice and easy. Um, on the right hand side, you have a HEPA filter down there, um, which is cleanable just by a little tab, a bit stiff because of the seals. But yeah, simply just pull that out and then it slides straight back in. Um, and again, battery down there. Um, on the other side, you've got your motor uh, and the motor filter behind a cover. To pull that out, you just simply pull and then it just slides back. That's pretty much it. Um, so now I'll show you the charging process and we'll go from there. Now charging your new cordless shark vacuum cleaner is pretty damn painless if I'm honest. Um, you'll need three things, obviously you need the battery and you'll also need the charger. But Shark have also included a handy docking station. Very simple in design. You've got three suction cups on the bottom, which is good if you've got kids. It means if they tug on the cable whilst it's on the side, it's not gonna go clattering off because this thing is pretty heavy. Um, and it's really quite simple to, to use really. So the cable has got like a little locking mechanism on the bottom, simply slide it through the bottom and then twist it anti-clockwise. It then locks in to the bottom. Um, the cable will come tied up like this, make sure you undo it because that is a massive fire risk if you don't as it will just get really hot. Um, for some reason the instruction booklet does say to plug the battery in to the holder before you plug the socket in. Not too sure why, presumably health and safety, but there you go. That is your battery on charge, couldn't be easier. Oh, and one last thing. So when I asked Shark about spare batteries, they do plan on selling spares of these, which means if you do buy a second one, that means you can have one on charge, one on the vacuum, and that means you are always ready to go. And that is the perk of having a removable battery. Now, when it comes to building this thing, if it's anything like the AX910 UK, it should be pretty damn simple.
Now, when it comes to cleaning performance, I can't help but feel that the Shark DuraClean falls behind its cordless competitors on carpet. Here we have it next to a Dyson V7, which is a few years old now, and the Dyson does a much better job of plumping up the carpet. Looking at the shark's bin, however, tells a very different story, as it seems to have extracted its fair share of dirt and debris from our carpet. On hard floor, however, the shark really excels. Its ability to pick up both large and smaller particles is really, really quite impressive. In operation, there is no trigger button, it's a simple on and off. This is quite practical in terms of usage, but makes it easy to leave on something you don't want to do when you need to conserve battery life. There is also a boost button which you have to hold to enable so that you don't drain too much battery. The last two buttons on the handle are to switch between cleaning modes. For hard floors, the suction is increased and the brush bars are slowed. The TruePet device is quite simply a motorised brush head. It's sold for use on fabrics but also works really well on the stairs, which is where Shark's modular design comes in handy. The modular design is also useful when hoovering under low furniture. If it's too large to fit underneath, simply lift away the body of the unit and away you go. You can also quickly change the wand into an extended tool as shown. Emptying the device is also pretty effortless thanks to the modular design. The only slight issue is the design of the bin whereby dirt gets stuck around the bottom of the lid. So there you have it, that is the Shark Duo Clean with TruePet and all in all I have been very impressed with it. I mean, there are a few downsides which are definitely worth noting. Um, the biggest one being that its performance on carpet is not the best, if I'm honest. Um, I actually think the Dyson V7, which is a couple of years old now, is actually better. But in terms of the positives, this thing is actually best in class in a lot of ways. So its modular design is, is just amazing. You can go from like standard upright to cordless lift away in, in seconds. And then you can also go from upright to extendy one thing in, in seconds too. And there's not many other, other vacuums on the market that can do that. The Duo Clean is also completely unrivaled on hard floors. It is one of the best systems that I've used on a hard floor. Um, Dyson's in particular are not that great for hard floor cleaning, especially when larger items are involved. This thing, forgive the pun, wipes the floor it really does um, in terms of the true pet again i thought this would be a bit of a gimmick to be honest but i have been very impressed with it they sell it as uh, fabrics and stuff but in reality stairs is what you're going to use this for and it is very good at that i must admit so yeah that is the shark cordless duo clean review um, that's pretty much it from me so if you enjoyed this review please hit that subscribe button and I will catch you in the next video.